talking with my fiance about certain stuff and I am chanting in my sleep a lot here lately and I don't know what for I don't know what the reasons is and I don't know why I'm doing it now I guess I've been doing it for a while he's telling me that I'm singing Om Namo Baha Gavit Vashandevaya once. I'm singing twice. Om Noma Nama Sheve. Three times a Kadua. I'm singing different types of chants in my sleep. I already looked up what Eka Dua is, and that is some type of form of protection from not hurting yourself. I believe it's a form of protection from evil. I believe that. And the Eka Dua is from e Egyptian revealing of N. Ki. Reef in Kanu Kanusu pretty much revealing a god. A Kadua is healing. Now this other chance that I'm doing the Om Nama Shave. It's India and Hindu. It's Minatra chance that I looked up now for the other one um nemo bahagaveti vaj u d v a so that is a sanskrit chance for healing so for some odd reason I'm chanting nothing but healing, protection. I'm chanting. I don't know why. And I've been I've been looking things up to have a better understanding about what the crap am I doing in my sleep. So this would explain it. I don't know if this is my ancestors. It has to be from somewhere because I don't know this just on the top of my hat. You know what I mean? This is something that my ancestors would know. And I don't know why they're guiding me to know this. Pretty much, it's a sacred so, I'm singing sacred stuff. Mantra is such that this can provide spiritual guidance for one to attend the ultimate freedom from samsara, the eternal cycle of birth and death. Huh. That's interesting. Remember how people talked about be careful who you mess with because you don't know what their uh, spiritual guides are? Yeah. Pretty much, there's something going on to somewhat of accepting this in my life. I'm doing other chants as well. I just can't find them yet. I've already found some of them. Haven't found them all yet. Some of them are in Hindu, India, Hebrew, now Chinese. Just all different types of languages that I'm doing. Mantra as a mean of self-realization. 
So I don't know what my ancestor is trying to do. Thereby using the Minotra as a means of self-realization. So I'm wondering if I'm trying to realization something. Or maybe it's more aware of myself, of what I am, who I am, spiritually. And a lot of people are not going to get this. And I know that these, these type of spiritual stuff. Now, there's some that say these are the ones that nobody should be messing with. There's some that say... These, these are the ones I believe that believe in karma. So, there's different names for them. Nama Shive means oh solutions to the auspicious mm -hmm. one. So, I'm wondering... If there's a solution to a suspicious one. So I'm suspicion of something. Or my ancestors are trying to help me. A suspicious one. In my opinion, this is a lot for me to take in. I already know that it's for the inner self. All on consciousness. So I believe there's something going on about the inner, um, what is that one word? Consciousness. the mind and the body we should tell you about the benefits you can deliver by chanting Om Namah Shiva and other prayers to Lord Shiva huh Hmm. Mentor is extremely powerful. It gives you peace of mind that pleases Lord Shiva. So pretty much it's a very powerful state of that it brings you peace of mind. So pretty much trying to help you have a peace of mind to things. Now there's Buddha involved. I would never thought the day I was chanting about Buddha. Never in my life spanned. Never would think this. And I know Buddha is pretty much peaceful. They don't like disruptions. They don't like bad behavior. But I know Buddhas do believe in karma. Flowing on or passing through, it is illustrated by the wheel of life and explaining I'll explain by the 12 links of, okay, Wheel of Life. So I'm wondering if that has to do with the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Life. Karma and Samsara. Literally means is action.
continuous cycle in which the soul is reborn over and over again according to the law of action and reaction. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Is that where karma comes from? So pretty much I'm having a self realization of the law of action and reaction from karma. Hmm. Sam Sarah began when he was a little child, developed through cultural and family conditioning. The sense of a separate self with a special name and personality. Sam Sarah ends when you see through the veil of self and see that it is not fixed. Oh boy. What are the six realms of Sam Sarah? The six levels that make up the possible range for existence within Samsara. These are the realms of the gods, Deva, the demigods, Asura, humans, Menusa, animals, Triik, Tyraik, Hungry Ghosts. Parita and hell dizziness. Narik. Narika. Interesting. Strive to find release from the bonds of its own past deeps. Debt's karma. Hmm. <laughs> that is very interesting. Eka Dua. O oh, high one, may ye be praised, the one great of power, the spirit great of dignity, who places fear of himself among the gods. And I do remember looking up what it's saying about, and it was revealing some type of God in Hebrew. And I think it's a little bit different, but yeah. Ekadua, I believe, is a protection from all evil, all bad. This is meditation. Self-awareness, I believe. So pretty much, I'm singing in different languages about inner peace and prosperity. Healing. How to destroy my enemies. That's very, very odd that I'm chanting Minitra to destroy enemies. So I got a feeling my ancestor was a some type of Kalia miniature that would explain it. So whoever ticked off my family or my ancestors, I believe these are all my ancestors wanting to be revealed to everybody. To this is why how people get karma because for years I've been wondering how in the crap does everybody get karma? Or how bad is it? Like in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, okay, 
Okay, it's it's God in the universe. No, 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 no. It's not just that. It's this. It's this ancestor right here. These are all sacred, ancient, like sacred, like way back then. I got the, you know, oh. well, let me see. I got Egyptian. There's some what type of Buddha. There's Chinese, um, Hindu, India, and that right there. I don't know why my ancestors want to be revealed. I don't know why. It's kind of odd. But this would explain to how my enemies get hurt really badly by screwing with me. I don't know. I really wouldn't want to have this ancestor on nobody's ass. This ancestor is the type of person to where you will deserve it. Like, they believe, and if you hurt somebody, they believe destroying an enemy. They believe it. That's kind of scary. Which I hope that don't lead no bad karma, but I'm chanting about peace Harmony, pretty much. I'm chanting about healing, pretty much. Peace of mind, stuff like that. Gee. And then, like I said here, I'm also singing about healing frequency, which that would explain about the Buddha. And then also, I was singing this too. Ancient chant for healing and peace. So pretty much I'm chanting about having a peace of mind and healing and chanting about bad shit get away from me pretty much. And people are people has always been known and always known me to be different, which I don't much care. <laughs> I really fucking don't. But yeah. I don't know why they were wanting to be revealed or maybe they were wanting to be revealed to show proof of who my ancestors are because there's people trying to call me a liar. People are trying to say this is bullshit. Okay, then explain to me then why am I being guided to take pictures and screenshots and talk about them. These chants I did in my sleep, you're not even supposed to remember, and I'm finding them. Explain that to me. <clears throat> There's a good reason to why I'm finding these chants that my fiancé has heard me doing. And there's a reason why I'm being guided to put it up. Or maybe it's to show... That I know I have felt for the longest time. Or maybe my ancestors are wanting me to know it's not just God in the universe. It's not just them spiritually. It's them, my ancestors, who have been helping me in my worst and darkest days. They're the ones that are trying to help me to get a peace of mind. They're trying to help me to have a... Have healing in my heart to have peace. They want me to be happy. They don't want me to be miserable. <clears throat> now, for the one that I've seen right here, pretty much they take care of your enemies. And like I said, we all have some type of ancestor like that. But some of them don't like going down that route. But some of them will do it. Like if this ancestor, if anybody else has this ancestor or understands this ancestor very perfectly, very well. I believe this ancestor lets things go. And then when the time is right, this ancestor will strike. And people won't even know what to do. This is some type of form of a very powerful ancestors i'm looking up 
Buddha is a very powerful too. <clears throat> Ancient Egyptian protection? Oh yeah. Very, very, very strong too. Like Egypt was like way back then. And from Minatrakala or Kala? I'm not I'm not for sure why it said that, but I can't say those I can't say that word very properly. I'm not very good with different languages. But Menatron from way back then, I believe those were like witch doctors and tribes. Not just Native American. It could have been. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Now I'm starting to think. If this is one of my witch doctors from a Native American tribe way back then. These were the type where they were mean and did not care to hear you out. If you came after their family in any type of way, they would strike at you. And I know with the arms, I don't know what type of ancestor that is, 100% sure. <clears throat> but it's kind of cool. I believe my ancestors are trying to help me to balance myself out. So I can have healing, a peace of mind, where I don't have to worry about evil. That they're trying to say that you are protected. And it's pretty sad that they feel like they wanted to reveal themselves. And I don't know why. I don't know if that's normal. I don't know why they asked me to do this. I don't know if it maybe that maybe somebody else may have the same ancestor sisters as mine and could explain it to me a little bit better. But like I said. I must have very powerful ancestors if I'm doing this in my sleep, not realizing it. Cheerfully, all and honestly, what it's truly, truly saying, all I'm doing, I'm doing nothing wrong. It's nothing but protection from evil, it's nothing but healing. And trying to have a peace of mind. To have a self-awareness of my conscience. Okay. So you're trying to let me know. That everything will be okay. That I am protected. There will be peace. There will be no harm coming. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. But just like I said. If I find any more chance or religion oh yeah i'm also doing chinese and i don't know how my fiance put it he said it's like between buddha or india and chinese mixed and that would be the one right here i'm showing is what my fiance was telling me i was doing a mixture of mm -hmm. kind of crazy but mm. Pretty much, it's nothing wrong with it. If you know what you're doing, and if you're doing it correctly, and if you're doing it for the good, it should not backfire on you, and it should not hurt you. But this one kind of concerns me, because I don't want no bad karma coming on me. I have stated it before. I have witches in my family that were not very nice. I have very, very dark witches in my family line. This is what concerns me. Because I don't want no bad karma coming on me if they feel the need to protect me. That's what concerns me right there. But if the ancestors do it, they're doing it out of protection, their family. 
but somewhere deep down in my gut, when they do that, I know it won't come back on me, but I'm hoping that it does not affect me. Or if I ever decide to have a family, then I'll always know one day if I have the kids, they will see this and they will kind of understand this. And I'm hoping that one day, if I do have kids, I hope they are protected as well. And I hope my generation has no bad blood in it. I hope it's pure, peaceful, and not like my family line is. Oh, God. <clears throat> But just like I said, there's nothing harmful, and a lot of people think I'm doing something horrible. Truthfully and honestly, my ancestors wanted me to do this. So if people have like the wrong idea, pretty much my ancestors just pretty much called you out again to let people know that no, I'm not doing anything harmful. It's just people are doing their own karma by messing with me and screwing with me. That's their problem, not mine. Because I know my place in certain situations. But my ancestors know I do have a right to stick up for myself. And they understand I'm not going to let people do whatever they want to me. Yes, I'll let it go. But eventually they're going to piss off my ancestors and... From there on, they're trying to protect. That's pretty much all my ancestors are doing. That's pretty much that how I understand that they're not evil. But this right here, the picture right here, kind of kind of tells me a little bit differently that they do protect, but it's not in a very pleasant way. In my opinion. But, like I said, they wanted to be shown. I don't know why. Maybe it was for a reason. But this one for sure wanted to pop out the most to make it known that they're the ones who you're messing with when you screw with me. So, pretty much that ancestor is pretty much saying that if you do anything to me with black magic... Or anything evil to me you're dealing with that type of ancestor of mine and they're right down cruel and karma now I'm not for sure but they do believe in revenge and they believe in people getting their karma they believed is they believe of giving it to you to your front doorstep they believe in giving it to you anywhere that you go. This ancestor has your number. But just like I said, other than that, the other ones are peaceful. But this one, a lot of people don't realize that this is the one who is bringing karma and tragedy. And somehow this screaming banshee is pretty much fits with this ancestor so the ancestor just wanted to clear it up that i'm not the one who's hurting people the ones who are truly out there trying to hurt harm in a very bad way this ancestor will step involved and they do do things and people want to blame me my ancestor says, you can't be blaming me that I'm not the one who's doing this. This is the ancestor who you're messing with and who you deal with every time you, you do something bad to me or make me feel in a certain way. You're dealing with this ancestor. It's not me. You're dealing with this one or you're dealing with multiple of these. 
Now, I don't know how many numbers there are, but you're dealing with this one. Like, if you're trying to plan death upon me, black magic, or any of the sort, trying to kill me, trying to come after me, this is the ancestor who you're going to be dealing with and the reasons why you get back what you put in. It's because this ancestor does not believe in you coming after nobody for no reason. It's not your doing, and they don't believe in killing. That's what I believe. But back then, they had to survive, which, that's a different scenario. That's, that's their lifetime. This is the now. They're seeing it as, this is where you gotta protect yourself. This is not something that you freely do, and they understand that you understand the law of action and that so that's all i'm gonna say for right now but if i find any more ancestor chance i might talk about it but <laughs> i i guess they were wanting to be known because there's people out there who th who thinks it's a game and there's some people who thinks that oh i'm just full of shit well Ancestors are pretty much saying, hi, how you doing? I'm right here in your face. I know what you look like, pretty much. So they already know who you are. They know what you look like. They know where you live. And they know what your family bloodline is. They know if you're a good person or not. They know if you're a good one or if they know you're not but pure evil. They know what you are. But just like I said, my ancestors wanted to come on here and show themselves and reveal themselves. Especially this one. I don't know why. Maybe it's proven a point to the ones who are trying. Because this one knows that there's people out there trying to destroy me, trying to lie upon me. Trying to make my life miserable. Pretty much. This ancestor believes in. If you are trying to destroy my life. This ancestor is going to be destroying yours. Pretty much. And that's pretty scary. I wouldn't. I really wouldn't want to mess with nobody else's ancestors. Because for one. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. For three. You don't know what type they are. And you don't know what they're capable of. You don't. But I believe this ancestor is here for people who have tried to destroy me, has tried to kill me. This is the ancestor right here that's going to be dealing with those type of individuals who have tried to destroy me in any type of way. This ancestor believes in doing it right back in your face, where it teaches you a lesson. Kind of makes me nervous because the energy I'm feeling off my ancestor right here, they're not the type to play around. They already got people's numbers, who these people are. And there are some people who have tried to screw with me has already ended up in tragedy. Or these people have been destroyed in some way. I'm not even going to go into it because they're making me nervous. But just like I said. They just wanted to clarify again. That I'm doing nothing harmful. I'm not doing black magic. I'm just trying to bring peace, protection from evil away from me. That's all pretty much my ancestors are working with me with. To have a shield somehow to teach me that I understand the laws of spirituality. I understand the laws of don't hurt anyone. I understand the law of protecting 
yourself and practice pretty much but just like I said I'm gonna go and get off of here I know it was a lot but they just wanted to say hi and say you're okay it's just this one you need to be leery about that one is very it's it's not scary it's more like a nervous energy because I don't know what this ancestor has done I, f I feel like this ancestor from everybody blaming shit upon me for their karma this is the one who you're blaming you're blaming me but this is the one who's doing shit to you when you screw with me and I want it I wouldn't want to piss them off any more than what they are but I'm going to go ahead and get off of here if I find any more or find anything else out I'll, I'll talk about it some more but yeah these are my ancestors oh yeah already said all them but also no witch doctors which I've already said I got Native American witch doctors I got that protection but how do I not know that it's a mixture between a Native American between Kalia Minotra how do I not know it's not a mixture between the tribes of protection but I'm gonna go and get off of here and I hope you guys have a lovely day and they just wanted to speak to let people know that they're just trying to bring peace and harmony they're trying to be helpful and trying to bring light to situations and trying to be humble about situations and trying to protect people from harm that's all they're really doing but other than that I'm gonna go and get off here and have a good day